M0FXP Zygu X6100. There is a new web interface using the R1CBU bespoke firmware. Go to this page and click SD card image and download. It will go up to your downloads folder. Grab yourself an SD card, put it into an adapter, plug it into your PC and then use your normal formatter to format it. Then open a program called Rufus. The download link is here. And when you open it, this is the download link in the description. And when you open Rufus, just go to search it in your search for, I'm on Windows 11, put Rufus and you want the one that's called app and it would open up, go yes. And here we are. So we've got the download. We're now gonna select it. So we've got the SD card in our PC just here. Then we want to download the image. So we'll go select. And it, there it is there. And then we're going to go, everything should be fine. Start. And it should write the image there for us. And then we're going to plug it into our radio. Okay, then put the SD card in the normal place. Turn on, fold your finger down. You know if it's right, because when it starts to turn on, you'll get this sort of wolf appear like so, give it a minute to boot up. Of course, I've done lots of videos on this already, but today I'm just gonna show you the web browser, show you how to connect the Wi-Fi, and then look at the web browser, which I've not really used. There we are looking great already. And it does work great. And it's got FTA, receive and receive and transmit on screen. But anyway, that's not why we're here. So hit the app and then go, and again, the app button, cord app, until you see Wi-Fi. Now press Wi-Fi, you'll get to this. Now I've already connected mine, so you have to turn it on with this button here, the first button, okay? Turns it on, then hit scan, it will scan. And, and once you hit scan, then you can select the one you want to connect to. You can select the one. Let's just say we want to connect to this one. And then, well, I'm already connected. It wants me to disconnect. I don't want to do that. So once you connect, you put in your password. It's that simple. Um, type in your password. The number one changes you to numbers. You've got our capitals and lowercase there on the far left. Uh, so anyway, we're connect all connected up. We can now just hit the general button here and now go over to the IP address. When you actually, I should have showed you. Press the app again. Wi Fi. And we've got our IP address showing here. Put that into your browser. And with me, this is what I picked. Now, I've not actually used it. So let's have a look. We've got at the top here, we've got different tabs. It's called the X6100 Configurator General. You've got allow bands editor, allow to add change, remove bands, active column is to bind band up down buttons, digital modes editor, add change, remove frequencies for FTA, FT4, file browser allows to download files from the data partition of the SD card, ADI file, screenshots, recordings. Note there is a small probability that the something there might be changing. Okay, well, it's very technical. So we've got that bands editor. Okay, so at the moment, start stop is 1.82. So let's just say we want to edit it. It says it's active. And what are we seeing here? Ooh. So yeah, we can edit it. I'll leave it for now. And then we'll go to uh, just click tick. Add new band. Ooh. Well, you got CB bands there, look. Um, I know everyone wants CB, don't they? CB AM. Does it allow me to do FM? I don't think so. Um, let's just click out of that one. Let's go to CB, uh, edit. It shows narrow FM and 
27. Let's just go a bit higher. Uh, two. Okay, I'm good all the way to nearly 28. And then we'll go here, we'll go down a bit. CBD, didn't know you could have D. Tick, there you are, I'm not sure what will happen, but uh, to advanced digital modes. And if I go to tick one here, we'll edit one, frequency. File browser, we've seen time edit. Oh, we'll do the time, which is right at the moment. Input time, manually update, sync to local server. Done that. Update time host, UTC. I think mine's right at the moment. Okay, we'll give it a go, you know. You can see I'm new to this. And then... Um, but, you know, I saw it today and I thought, I've got to try that out. And if you just go, let's come out completely with the general button on here. And if we go, let's try the FTA. We go app FTA, like so. And then it populates. I mean, it's such good. I mean, if you've got an XX100, because I actually, I like them both, but I, and I, there's a lot of things about the 200 that I do like. It's sleek design. Um, it feels more, I don't know, more, more, it's hard to say. It feels more sort of modern, but anyway. Um, so if we go TX enabled, now you do need to get your call sign in. So let's get that in there now. It's already decoding. So if we press here on page, keep pressing, one of them I'm sure says call sign. Don't worry, we'll find it. So you back out with the gen button, then you hit the app and then you keep pressing, don't press FT8 yet, keep pressing app, then call sign. And then here we can start typing in our call sign. We're not typing in, so you could, actually you can plug a key. Look, it's not letting me do that. So I'm going to plug a keyboard in. Uh, okay, in the end, I'm going to use the screen. So we want to go to A, B, C here. And then go M. Is it going to let me put M in? Oh, not that funny? It won't let me if I hold it. It's a bit glitchy, isn't it? With the putting in the call sign. Why that is right? Okay, let me keep. Let me grab my keyboard. Okay, after a bit of fiddling, so it let me do it now. So I turned to M and I pressed, and now we're going to go to zero. We're going to go to the one here, and now choose zero. Press zero. Then we go back to A B C, and then F. No, it's not letting me do that. Let's just um, F, F, F. There you go. It's a bit back and forth, but X, B. And then we're going to go to the tick. Right, that's in there. So now we're going to go back to app. Till we see FT8. We'll let that load. A minute. I mean, it, it looks really colourful here. You probably can't see it, but it's actually quite colourful. And I, I always, you know, if you want the audio to sound good on these, you have to use an external speaker, in my opinion. So, sorry about the bright lights, but I've had to turn them on to um, to the radio shows up a bit better. Right, that's shown. Now we're going to go TX. 
We're going to TX. Antenna's on. Remember, we've got our own tuner here. And we're using a 49 to 1 Ballon. The antenna's on. The tuner is on. Shouldn't be that bad anyway. Let's let it call a couple of times. So remember to um, definitely check out the new browser. The link's in the description. We have got a red already, so I would say we've already got a reply. G0FGI. We'll just let it run through. Moving away from that bright light long. That's better. So, you know, a lot of people do try and slate the X6-100 but, and because of the, the famous thing that spreads around is the word birdies. But take it from me, the birdies have zero effect, effect on going on air, having HF contact voice, using FTA, the things that this, you know, using your antenna tuner, the things that this portable set was designed to do, yeah, all work great, yeah. Um, and you can even add a transverter, a little tiny transverter that I've got here called a HIZ dot air, and you can actually listen to airband, yeah. Um, it might even take you down to VHF uh, with this little, not transmit, receive only, but it actually works. I'm pretty sure I've made a video on that. So thanks for watching so far, and um, I'll link the HIZ Air thing in the description, and I'll see if I can link the video I made using 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 this set. Because the problem I had with um, the Zygu software, I couldn't get quite down to the frequency I think that I needed to get onto two meters. Because of this browser, it looks like I can tweak it a little bit, and that's definitely going to help. Bye for now, seven three, all the best.